Hi, this is Louise Jameson. I played Leela back in the day, 19, January the 1st, 1977, was my first episode with Tom Baker as the Doctor. And I'm watching Doctor Freedom. Howdy kitties, Dr. Freedom here with you. Time's on Dr. News. News from in and around the universe or may or may not affect you on a strange, weird, incredibly exotic, erotic level that can make you want to go cha 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 cha. Oh, well, okay. Well, um, yeah, a lot of weirdness going on, a lot of strangeness going on still, but it's kind of calmed down a little bit. But you got to remember, I don't know why some of these guys are still going on and on about this, on and on about that. Um, all I can say is this, you know, the, the series is already over. Let it go already. In the words of Frozen. Ugh. But go, speaking on about that, um, a lot of folks were jumping up and down saying that production had began on Series 12 already back, you know, a couple, about a week or two ago. And it's like, it was like, yeah, I think it was on the 8th it all started. And I'm like, that's funny because I'm still hearing mid-February and a couple of the filming locations they were looking at turned out to be for casualty and another production. So once again, I'm going to keep my you know, ears to the grind so, grindstone, so to speak. So if I hear anything about any actual stuff going on, I'll let you know. But like I said, my folks are still saying mid-February. And that's what I'm sticking with as far as the actual filming starting. Um, Pre-production began way back in November. And I, like I said, I don't know what's going on, but... I know that I don't think the Chibs was happy about the whole 2020 thing, but there is one good thing happening in 2020 also. It's all, well, <laughs> along with series 12. I think. Okay, let's get to it. Here we go. Now, just to go quickly, and I know this has nothing to do with Dr. Who, but it still has me excited. It's making me all tingly in my pants. And this is what's got me going. That's right, Jason Reitman has tapped to direct the next Ghostbusters movie coming in 2020. And no, this is not a sequel to Answer the Call. This is a sequel to Ghostbusters 2. Matter of fact, I'll leave this article for you. I know it's not Doctor Who related, but wow, wow, wow. This has me going. Because I agree with this right here. This is what they should have done in the beginning. But if you've been watching Midnight's Edge, and I highly stress that you do, um, they explain how the movie, the original sequel Ivan Reitman was doing, got hijacked. So that little side bit there, but I just wanted to throw that out for you. Okay, first up, resolution final ratings came in an official rating of 7.13 million viewers, according to figures released by the BARB. Now, 6.95 watched the episode on the conventional TV set, and then, of course, here's all the stuff that gets added in. Now, top of the week for the new year was, you know, my new year fireworks on BBC One, getting 12.217, and that was that. It was the fireworks display. Bam. Boom, boom, but bang, bang, bang. So, the final rating is the lowest consolidated rating for a Christmas New Year special since the series returned in 2005. We've got an AI of 80, and it's like, it just seems to me like there's a whole lot of weirdness going on because, you know, average, usually Doctor gets right 82 to 84, and this was not a bad episode. I enjoyed Resolution. And it was a whole new take on the Daleks, and that's what everybody was bitching about. How come we keep seeing the same old thing, same old thing? And they did, you know, they tried it, of course, with Into the Dalek, which to me, I enjoyed that one as well. But, ugh, everyone went nuts over that too. So, ooh. But it's just strange that, you know, we've gone to a whole new style of writing, and, you know, people are like, you know, you have this one quarter little slice of the Whovian fandom that's still ranting and raving about it weeks later. It's just amazing. All right, Celestial Toy Room Annual 2019 is out, uh, apparently. And that was this is the third CT annual. And on this occasion, it concentrates on the era of the first Doctor, which follows on from the Heritage Plaque placed at Ealing Studios in 28, October 2018 to honor William Hartnell. Now, the annual runs over 100 pages and features items on every first Doctor story featuring William Hartnell from over 30 contributors. This book can be downloaded free of charge from the Society's website right here, Doctor Appreciation Society, our DWAS online. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Also, there's a hardback version, which will be available to buy in a limited run in support for charity. Dalek's Master Plan coming out on vinyl. That's right. First seen in 65. This is to be released on vinyl for the first time. And it's from the Demon Music Group. It follows the recent popularity of similar releases, such as Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and League of, Gen you know, League of Gentlemen. 
Now, the Daleks Master Plan, it's narrated full cast TV soundtrack adventure featuring William Hartnell as the first doctor in a battle against his arch nemes nemeses or enemies, the Daleks. This vinyl will be released on the 15th of February and is now available to pre-order. We're looking at 99 pounds, 99. And, whoo, doggy, look at this bugger. Woo. Now, here's the thing. I like I said, I, it freaks me out to this day that vinyls made such a comeback because I've mentioned before, I, there's now a vinyl section in Walmart. And it's like, it's not huge, but there is a vinyl section there for LPs. It's like, what the hell? I feel like I've traveled back in time a billion freaking years. It's like, a, all right. Catherine Tate says she's up for a Donna return with Jodie Whittaker. But the thing is, this is not surprising. A lot of you know, companions want to do this. But of course, the BBC never listens. Uh, and lastly for today, and this has to do with this coming Saturday, the 20th, or actually it is this coming Saturday, is it not? Where is that, where is that thing? Yeah, no, it's Sunday the 20th, very sorry. And that will be Tom Baker's 85th birthday. So it's nice to know Tom's still with us, still out there, you know, hanging with the fans, you know, well, not as much as he'd like to, you know. But he's still out there signing autographs, doing big finish and whatnot. So just a quick one for you. But like I said, I don't see any signs of any filming going on, even though everybody was running around about a week or two ago going, oh, production's beginning, production's beginning. Yeah, right. And uh, No, it's not, as far as I know. But, oh, yeah, one other side note, by the way, and uh, just, just for shits and giggles before we go. This is the infamous baby bump dress taken from another angle. So we can kill that little bullshit story, can we not? And like I said, I know exactly where that story started. That story started on Twitter with a certain individual trying to start up shit. Well, uh, all I can tell you folks is, folks is this. There's people out there claiming that everybody and their grandmother didn't like this series of Doctor Who. And I forgot to go look up the length, but Trilby put on another brilliant video regarding the, you know, Rotten Tomatoes stuff and whatnot, and how you can tell that that particular rating has been affected. It has like six or 7,000 ratings on it with the average rating of a Doctor Who season is usually like 700 people voting on it. So now you know pretty much for a fact that it was spammed. It's like, it's right there in plain as day. Well, for, until next time, everybody, please take care of yourselves. See, look, I'm still bald. It's never getting any better. Uh, but at least I still got a job. Okay, I'm only kidding. All right, good night, everybody. Have a good one.